Today I'm very excited to show you this mower right here. I didn't really think I would be doing a mower demo here at the end of 2018. It's almost January. So this mower is gonna be new this spring when people are going to buy a mower for the 2019 season. This is gonna be a great choice because it's the zero turn for the homeowner. It has some of the great features that you're gonna see in commercial mowers. What I'm gonna do right now is take the mower back in the garage where I have some heat, and then I'm gonna go through and show you some of the specs and a quick overview. And then this spring, I'm gonna have another video showing this mower in action, cutting this lawn out here. I can't wait. Yeah, I, actually, winter has barely even started, but I can't wait for spring. All right, so let's go inside. A couple weeks ago, Cup Cadet launched this mower right here. This is the Ultima series. This is made for the homeowner. It's a zero turn mower. So if you're a residential homeowner and you're looking to buy a zero turn mower and you want to get into something instead of having like the front engine type, the older style lawn tractors or garden tractors, you can get into a zero turn, which I'm going to say is probably at least 20% maybe 25% faster even than the other style mowers. You're gonna get faster blade speed, you're gonna get faster miles per hour driving this, and then you're also gonna have less wasted turns because the zero turn can basically turn on a dime where the garden tractor has to take like the wider sweeping turns. So let's go through some of the specs, some of the key features of this. If I don't cover all the topics and you still have some questions, I will have a link down below to the Cub Cadet website where you can find out more about this Ultima series. So now my plan is to show you some key aspects to this mower. All right, let's go. So this mower is the Cub Cadet Ultima ZT1. Has the Aeroforce deck and it's a 50 inch cut. And then the engine on here is a Kawasaki 23 horsepower fr 691 v So let me just show you right here. This is how you get to the air filter. Very easy. So one of the first things I wanna point out is the durability of the mower. So it is made with two by two tube steel it is welded at the joints here. It's not bolted on, which is a great thing to look for. And then there's the tires, which are a nice size for a residential mower. Has the Carlisle Turfmaster. These are 20 by 10 8. They have a nice tread on there, which works on all grass surfaces. And then they offer premium engines like Kawasaki or Kohler. And then on the back here, it has a towing hitch. And then the mower deck can be changed right here. This height adjustment knob has 15 different quarter inch settings. And then for steering the mower, they have these oversized hand grips, which help reduce the vibration right there. And also on the floor right here, it's kind of a heavy rubber mat, and that will help absorb the vibration for your feet as well. So very simple controls on this side right here. You have your throttle, you choke, your key for on and off, and then for turning the mower deck on and off. And then if you're wondering what this silver thing is right here, that's a wrench that will actually fit this bolt right here. So if you unscrew that, you can lift that floor up to get to your deck. And then this has the uh, spring-loaded chute guard right there where the uh, grass is discharged. And then around the back here, it's very easy to get to your oil right there to check the level. And then to lift the seat up, 
very simple. You can flip it forward like that. You have access to your battery, your fuel tank, your fuel filter right there. And then for the seat suspension has these two polymer units, which are an upgrade from the noisy seat springs. And then speaking of the seat, it does have adjustable seat right here. So you can loosen that and go forward or back to adjust for the height of the operator. So that's a really nice automotive style seat right here. Just very well built. Just take a look at that. Just nice stitching, super comfortable. It's very awesome. It doesn't have armrests here, but I understand that's an optional accessory that you can get. When you turn the key to the mower on, as you can see these two LED running lights come on, which is great for the fall season when it starts getting dark, like at 5.30 p.m. It just gives you that extra bit of light to finish your mowing. And one of the key features that really makes this mower shine is the 50 inch Aeroforce deck. And to explain that better than I can, I'm gonna go back to some older footage I have with Chad from MTD and Cub Cadet when he dropped this mower off here. So let's go to that clip right now and I'll introduce you to him and see what he has to say about it. All right, so I'm here with Chad from Cub Cadet. Chad, can you tell me a little bit about your role, how long you've been with Cub Cadet? Yep, I'm a territory manager for the state of Michigan. Um, with Cup Cadet. I've been around for about five years now um, with the company and serves our retailer and our uh, network for Cup Cadet. Um, we're just here today looking at the new for 2019 um, Cup Cadet Ultima ZT1 series. Rolling out, so for 2019, we have a new line of what we call our Aero Force cutting decks. Um, so we're going to start out with a 42 inch, we'll have a 46, 50, 54, and 60 on various models of this. And some of them will be offered as stamped or fabricated. Used to always be that uh, a stamp, there was always kind of a trade off with them. A stamp deck would cut better because it had better airflow and just it was a smooth surface. All like one um, piece. Yep, it was yeah. just basically one piece of steel I like stamped down into like a dome shape. Now those are the ones that had the more rounded corners and stuff on it. Okay. And just with those, the airflow is a little bit better. Fabricated decks are nicer because they're, you know, bent, welded, and they have reinforcements added on the front and, and key areas to kind of keep them. A little bit stiffer, a little bit more heavy duty. If they bump into they, something, they're more likely to take yep, they'll probably take a the, little. Take the abuse a little bit more. Yeah. The only problem with most traditional fabricated decks is the the shape of them, just the way that they're you know more boxy and yeah. angular. They never really cut as well as a stamp deck. Um, with our new Aeroforce decks, we actually have baffling underneath there to make the underside nice and smooth, so the airflow is better. Cut okay. quality is better. And we tested this against our, all the competitors out there in the residential zero term market. Um, found that these Aeroforce decks we have just cut better than any of the competition out there. Even nicer, nicer cut pattern. All of them have anti scalp wheels all the way around. Those are adjustable depending on how rough your lawn is. When it comes to doing the maintenance on this mower, it's very easy, which I think is a great thing for the homeowner. The first thing is the spindles are all sealed, so you don't have to go through and grease it. As a matter of fact, the only grease fittings, there's two on the front wheels itself. That's it. When it comes to the transmission, it's a sealed system as well, so you don't have to go through and change the oil or the filters for that. And the only real maintenance they have to do is like the spark plugs, sharpening the blades, the air filter, which I point out right here. And then there's two deck belts that will probably need to be changed after a couple years. And then when it comes to the warranty, there's a three year, no hour warranty, which is awesome. Then there's a limited lifetime warranty on the frame and the fabricated deck shell. And one last cool thing I wanna mention about Cub Cadet is they've been built in America since 1961. This particular one is built in Tennessee. They also have plants in Kentucky, Ohio, and Mississippi. I just wanna share a quick little story about my experience with Cub Cadet mowers. If I go way back to some of my earliest memories, I'm probably like four or five years old, I recall my grandpa having a Cub Cadet mower. I still remember where it sat in his shed back when I was a little kid. And then all the way up, all my time growing up until I was a senior in college when he passed away, he used that garden tractor every single year, that same Cub Cadet mower. So my experience from all that is that I can give Cub Cadet a thumbs up and say that it's well built for the residential market. My goal of this video is to help you learn everything about this Cub Cadet Ultima Series mower. So if you're considering making the purchase of it, hopefully I've been able to answer all your questions so you can thoroughly see if this is right for you. And if you find this video interesting or informative, please give it a thumbs up and help support my channel. That's it friends, thanks for watching. See you next time.